you wrote an upcoming episode of the show. Yes. Can you talk about how that sort of came together? Did, did, did you pitch them? Did they come to you and ask you to write something? Uh, ult ultimately, I did pitch them something, but that was after we'd sort of talked about uh, between the seasons, three and four, it came up, maybe thought about writing one. And then when it came time uh, to do it, I, I did go in and pitch a few ideas to the writing staff. And then we sort of settled on one and um, and uh, went from there. Yeah. Did you ever bring your Oscar on the set and kind of wave it around if anyone questioned your, your writing on the script? Uh, I probably should have. You should have. Because I got so disrespected. Yeah. Uh, but I just, I kept forgetting it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I keep hearing something about a body uh, body swap sort of concept for the episode, and I've yeah. heard Troy and Abed sort of have a body swap situation. Yes, it's like a, an homage to like Freaky Friday, like the the, the Jodie Foster early, you know, the original in my mind. Um, and yeah, Troy and uh, Abed just switch bodies. Now, do any of the other characters switch bodies, or is it just those two? Sort of. Oh. You know. Uh, okay. Uh, and you'll have to see. Yes. Yeah. And so we can look more forward to more shenanigans with the other characters. Yes, as well. absolutely. Yes. yes. There's a nice B story with uh, Annie and Shirley, and then uh, I'm obviously I'm involved with the Dean's involved with Troy and Abed's sort right, of right, right. body switching story. What is the react? What kind of have you been listening to the fan reaction from this season, the new season, and what what sort of reaction have you been getting from people about since Dan is not, yeah, yeah, not yeah. there Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anymore. you know, I think it's 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 always. It's hard because no matter what, there's going to be a feel of difference. So people are going to feel it regardless. But the, people also talk about the differences from season to season, regardless of Dan being there. You know, and Dan's such a, a specific voice, and we and obviously we miss that specific voice. But he was so um, he created such a vivid world and vivid characters, and we've had four years in their voices that he really did. You know, without him, we have at least this great foundation and very clear tone. And but with with Dan's vision, I think it was always that the show sort of did switch tones in the sense that each each year was supposed to be a sort of different chapter in their lives, like a screenplay where the third obviously was our darkest sort of period, where the characters are questioning their stuff, and in the fourth, it was always designed to be sort of rise from the ashes and, and go into the new the new version of Jeff and all these characters. So in a way, we're still just following his map. Right, right. And one last thing, Sundance, you had the way, way back with the Nat Faxon this yep. year and you got sold the Fox Searchlight, so congratulations. Thank you. Um, talk about that, the, was that a surreal experience being at Sundance? Can you talk about yeah. the Yeah, it was, uh, I'd never madness. been before. And uh, the first two days there were very stressful because we were waiting <clears throat> to debut the movie. And uh, other than like maybe 20 people, Nat and I were the only ones who had seen the movie, including our cast. So we were sort of just stressed how it was going to go. And, and there, the premiere of those things are in this uh, theater of like 1,200 seats. Right. So uh, I, we walked out and sort of could see the crowd coming and the anxiety and so then we just did a shot and then <laughs> and then we showed the movie right and uh, but it, it, it's such a cool community of people like really I mean seen from short to long filmed documentary it was like a, it really is a cool place to be and celebrate that s small movies yeah you know? absolutely and to be right. a part of that was great well congratulations on that great thank you for breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.